Hola a todos, bienvenidos, and aloha as well. Um, today is different. I know it's been a while since I've been here, but I've been thinking a lot, you know, and I want to start incorporating on this channel my background and where I grew up as I, as I learn about Mexico and as I learn about your home. I want to share more about where I come from and learn also and reflect on on my background and where I grew up and, and what has influenced me and share it with you because it it's it's a beautiful place that I come from. So that is uh, Hawaii, Hawaii. And so today I'm going to be listening to um, Somewhere Over the Rainbow by Israel Kamaka Viva Ole, Brada Is. I've heard this, I mean, my whole life. This is not a first listen. Um, but yeah, to maybe provide some context, let me see. Um, what else? What should I say? Well, I've got some things in the background here. I've got a special shirt on for one. Maybe I'll talk about it now. Yeah, so this shirt, if you can see this here, it's Kahanu Gardens or Kahanu Garden. And that is a, a spot on the island of Maui um, where it's, it has what is called as Pi'ilane Hale, Heiau. And a Heiau is like a sacred, it's not a pyramid, technically, but it's it's a, a sacred uh, place. I'm going to be, I'm going to not say anymore because I don't want to make a fool of myself and, uh, and say wrong things, but it's a very, very special place for Native Hawaiians. And I should also say that I am not at all Native Hawaiian. I, in the title, I'm Hapa Haoli, so uh, that means that I am, well, Haoli, Haole means um, without breath in Hawaiian, and in Polynesia in general, um, especially, I, I know this for some reason, I know it especially in New Zealand, when you greet somebody, you touch foreheads, and you exchange breath and that's the ha i think in new zealand it's ka but um so ha ole means without breath so it means to be a foreigner right you don't exchange breath um so that is most commonly used to describe white people <laughs> um and so yeah i'm i am white i'm haole but i'm also part okinawan and so hapa is like half part, um, part haole. And um, yeah, so I just wanted to provide that context. I'm not native Hawaiian, um, but I was born on, on Oahu and I grew up there and I, my whole, well, not my whole life. I moved away when I was uh, in my late teens, but um but it, my heart is there for sure. I still have plenty of family there. And so, yeah, wearing my shirt, Kahunu, Kahanu Gardens. Um, yeah, Pi'ilani Hale Heiau is especially uh, special because it is regarded as the largest man-made structure in all of Polynesia. So I don't know if this is a fair comparison, but maybe it's somewhat like the Teotihuacan of of not only Hawaii, Hawaii, but also of, of Polynesia, or maybe the pyramid uh, at Cholula, because I know that that one's the biggest. And um, Pi'ilani Hale Heiau is like that. And it's a very, very, very beautiful place. So, yeah, that's why I'm wearing this. Um, 
I guess I've got some more stuff back here, but I will talk about it later. Well, here, Manoa Valley, where I grew up, on Oahu. And, uh, yeah, I won't take any more time. This is Somewhere Over the Rainbow by Brada Is, as he is known in the islands. Um, he is an extremely, extremely special man for, for anyone who has grown up in Hawaii or has spent time there. So, um, yeah, I think this will be the first of many reactions that I do to his music because it is some of my favorite. All right, so, yeah, let's go. Pretty sure, let me see. This shot here, it looks like he's uh, on the east side of Oahu. Uh, that island in the background is one of the Mokes. I actually don't know if, I think Moke is short for something, uh, but those islands are known as the Mokes in Lanikai. Very beautiful area. That's just past, um, oh my gosh, I'm blanking. It's gonna come back, wow. That's so embarrassing. I gotta get all my place names. I'm just looking up on the map real quick. Oh yeah. That's so that's why Manalo uh, and in the distance you can see those islands and I'm pretty sure those are the mooks that were in the other picture. And that's Rabbit Island. Let me get something real quick. Can you see this? Yeah. So this, my mom dances hula and she made this from coconut, from a coconut tree stump. 
as part of her halal, which is her hula dance troupe. So, just like he's got the drum there. I've got one too. Okay, so this um, so Brada is he passed away. I actually don't know what year he it was or how old he was, but he was very young and it was either before I was born or or when I was when I was very young. Um, but this here I believe, um, well, I guess I'll say more as it goes along, but I, I want to, I want to talk about where this is. And what's going on here is a very common in Hawaii, uh, Hawaii, I say it lazy, um, to after cremation, after somebody dies, uh, you see they're holding up the urn there um, to spread the ashes in the ocean. So this is the memorial to him when they're spreading his ashes on, uh, on the Waianae coast, on the west side of Oahu. As you can see, he is incredibly, incredibly special to Hawaii. Uh, this was a very powerful moment, and it's always powerful to watch this footage. Is, Brada is. But it's also a celebration of his life, you know? So, let me just go back. So where this is happening, I am i can't tell exactly, but I know this is on the west side and um, near Kaena Point, which is the northwestern point of Oahu which is, I, I really hope I'm getting this right, but I used to go there a lot as a, as a kid um, and walk out to the point. It's traditionally where the a person's spirit leaves and goes to the next world or the next life. Um, so that's where you pass on after you, after you pass away. Um, and... Yeah, I, I spent a lot of time there growing up, and um, again, I don't know if this is the exact beach, and I don't know, I actually don't know the names of the beaches over there, because I would always just say the beach by Kaena Point, um, but this here in the background, let me make sure you can see, yeah, this here is a painting that I did when I was like, you know, eight years old or something, I don't know. That is kind of point. Yeah, so it's it's not the exact, exact place where this video is taking place, but uh, very, very close. And um, yeah, one of the most special places I've ever been, definitely.
So that was somewhere over the rainbow. Not his song, you know, as a cover, but uh, partially why I wanted to start with this one is because this song is probably his most well-known song, at, at least outside of Hawaii. It's more or less the only song of his that I've seen anyone else react to, which is too bad, but I want to change that. I want to get more of his music out there. Uh, being reacted to because it is amazing and uh, I, I want people to know about it people should know um, so yeah that's it that's this is I guess the beginning of me diving in as well into where I come from the music that I grew up with um, and learning more about Hawaii you know because I haven't spent my adult life there. I spent my childhood there. It shaped me, but I haven't like learned about it as an adult. So I want to do that, you know, as I, as I spend time and effort learning about different cultures that I'm not from, I want to make sure that I, that I also do the same for, for where I come from. So yeah, that's what this is. And, uh, Mahalo, mahalo, as they say in Hawaii. Thank you, gracias, and I will see you in the next one. All right, bye-bye.